Hello and welcome to another Analysis Behind the News, where we provide the perspective that you can use to help save American liberty and independence. Today we have two action items for you, so please stay tuned. The Associated Press came out with an exclusive article yesterday with the headline, Digital Police State Shackles Chinese Minority. The in-depth article demonstrates how communist China has used the war on terror as an excuse to create a police state for at least 10 million Chinese living in the northwest province Xinjiang. Their crime? Not being Chinese enough and not being supportive enough of the communist government. You see, these Chinese are the Uyghur. These are Islamic people that have descended from the Huns. The ethnic majority in the province is the Han Chinese, which make up about 92% of the Chinese population. As reported by the New American News Magazine in 2011, the Uyghurs wish for their own country, unoccupied by Han Chinese. One young Uyghur noticed, noted the very different economic status of Uyghur and Han. Look at the Han and the Uyghurs. Who is rich and who is poor? Some Uyghurs go to university, they, gra they graduate, they come back and can't find jobs. These all go to the Han. And even when they, the Uyghurs, do find jobs, their salaries are low. Those fighting the communist Han Chinese, however, have been listed as terrorists by the United Nations. It is certain that other Muslims, probably from Pakistan and Afghanistan, have been providing weapons and training to the Uyghurs. It is also undeniably true that the Uyghurs have engaged in violence against Han Chinese, whom they view as occupiers and oppressors. Analysts note that the whole situation underlines the fundamental problems of creating international coalitions to fight terrorism. The Uyghurs are Muslims and receive help from Muslims. However, are these opponents of imperial communism really terrorists? Yesterday's AP article reports that possibly tens of thousands of Uyghurs have been thrown into what they call secretive detention camps for alleged political crimes that range from having extremist thoughts to merely traveling or studying abroad. To give you an idea of the police state environment, here's a sampling of what these people are subjected to. Layer upon layer of police checkpoints, some areas have a checkpoint on every other block. Digital surveillance systems that track where they go, what they read, who they talk to, and what they say. Literally tens of thousands of video cameras in each city. And GPS trackers are mandatory for vehicles, as well as mandatory health checks to collect DNA, of course, for the good of the people. And there's mandatory collective monitoring. Families are spying on each other, which gives a deeper meaning to see something, say something. The last few paragraphs of the AP article provide a stark reality. It reads, AP reporters were later detained by police, interrogated for 11 hours, and accused of illegal reporting in the area without seeking prior permission from the government. The subjects you're writing about do not promote positive energy, a local propaganda official explained. Five villagers that said they knew authorities had taken away the young student. I should mention that this AP article followed the journey of a young college student, and they're discussing him. Back to the article. One of the villagers said he knew he was definitely alive, but the others weren't sure. When asked, local police denied he existed at all. Let that one sink in. Local police denied he existed at all. And the Communist Party has only been in power since 1949. Nearly 70 years of exploitation has led to dozens of millions dead. Unfortunately, our own government helped to ensure that communists came to power in China. JBS founder Robert Welch wrote about this in his 1951 letter that was later published into a book the following year. It's called, May God Forgive Us. He also touched upon it during his monologue of the founding meeting of JBS, which was later published as the Blue Book of the John Birch Society. And history has demonstrated that when an all-controlling central government has such power, individual rights are trampled and dissidents are either rounded up for re-education or put to death. 
Communism in the 20th century alone is responsible for nearly 100 million deaths. So beware of the tyrannical trap that tries to sell us on why we must crack down on civil liberties in order to keep us safe from extremists. Why we must be heavily monitored and why we as citizens must monitor each other. Because before we know it, constitutional liberty will be just something written in a history book. And our local propaganda official will probably tell inquiring minds that it never really existed at all. Now to some, it may seem far-fetched, but America is far down the road from its constitutional foundations. So action item number one, get a copy of the Blue Book and read it. Printed copies are available, as is a Kindle version. Links are in the description. And action item number two, contact your JBS coordinator to learn of local opportunities to get involved. Again, the link is in the description. And if you like what we do, then please be sure to share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, we'll see you then. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Click here to watch more videos and click here to visit our site.